I'm Captain Ben Alexander with the Kitty Hawk Fire Department. I'm also a, an instructor with the College of Avalmaro in their Dare County Fire Academy. We take classes that have been certified through North Carolina, through the State Office of the Fire Marshal that's put on by the Community College System in conjunction with the Office of the State Fire Marshal Department of Insurance. And we teach them the basics of firefighting. They learn about PPE, which is personal protective gear they use, and all the different functions of firefighter. It's a large 280 hour program through all of it. It takes usually from August to April to get through it. Dare County Fire Academy meets on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and every other Saturday. At night during the week from 6.30 to 10.30. On Saturday, it's an all day from eight to five class. They get the classroom knowledge, they get the practical exercises, and then after each section, each class they have, they have a state certified test that they have to pass to become certified firefighters in North Carolina. And they can volunteer, or hopefully some of them are doing it to become a paid position in some of their departments. We have people from 17 all the way to older adults looking for a second career, or they want to volunteer for their communities and help make their communities better and they've chosen firefighting as one of the ways they can help their communities. My name is Amber Mann. I am 17 years old. I'm from Wanchies, North Carolina. I am part of the Roanoke Island Volunteer Fire Department. I was actually named Firefighter of the Year for 2020 for my fire department. I enrolled in the Dare County Fire Academy last fall, and it's been an amazing opportunity. The instructors have been so willing and kind. Because of my age and my size, they've had to really get creative with a lot of the tools. They were wonderful and worked with me after hours trying to help me so I could pass the class. I have no complaints for this academy. It has been the best decision I could have made. In the fire academy, we learn a whole lot of different stuff. You learn rope bailouts, you learn the different behavior patterns of fires, how to cut cars apart, take people out of them safely, and most importantly, how to keep ourselves and other people safe while we're working. Today we're doing car burns, which is one of the practicals for the class. Everybody gets up time on the nozzle, and we'll burn them up until about three o'clock, give or take. I love it, it's what I live for. I wouldn't trade it for the world. It's amazing. It's exciting to teach somebody how to do this, and particularly this particular class, the fire control class, because this is toward the end of the program. This is the graduation exercise, if you will, of the whole certification program. They're getting to see fire in this class. Uh, next weekend, we're going to the, the burn building down in Buxton, and they're actually going to get to go into a burning environment with low visibility and put water on the fire, feel the steam come back at them, watch the, the visibility go to zero, and, and encounter conditions very similar to what they would see in a real house or, or commercial building fire. I've been teaching this particular segment for years, and this is my favorite class to teach because I'm taking these folks and showing them the real fire, and, and they're, like I said, it's like the graduation exercise of the whole class for them. Well, I really want to be a firefighter for Kitty Hawk Fire Department, and my dad and my mom were both firefighters, so it's, I've been around it my whole life and thought it'd be a great experience. When I first became a firefighter, we did not have this program in Dare County, and it took me many years to get it because I would have to go to weekend classes other places. This puts it all in an academy in Dare County so people don't have to drive and they have a chance to get it in a shorter amount of period. They can get it all in one year instead of taking four or five years to be certified.